to Prepared Wander Out in the Woods today, and we're going to take a look at some gear that's going to help you get organized. If you have lots of little things that you carry in your survival kits or your EDC gear or your bushcraft bag, and it's all over the place, or it's just in the, you know, one dump pouch and it's unorganized, you're going to want to look at these pouches that I'm going to show you today because these things are unbelievable and they will help you stay organized and get organized. And uh, they're a game changer for sure. So stick around. All right, so here are the pouches. This is from a company called Provision Handmade Gear. And Provision has some really nice uh, made in the USA stuff that I think you guys are going to like. And, and his niche is are these organizer pouches, as I like to call them. Um, What's really great about them is because they come in a couple different sizes. They come in all kinds of colors. This is the small organizer pouch in multicam. And then, of course, this is the large organizer pouch or deluxe pouch in um, ATAX foliage. So, plenty of options for color. And once we get into these things, I show you what's inside these pouches and how I have things organized. I think you're going you're gonna to agree that these things are phenomenal for organizing gear. So let's take a look at the small pouch first. There it is. It's the outside. There's a zipper, heavy duty zipper on the outside. On the back, there are these two large slots big enough for a full size pocket knife, a multi tool, and then there's a slip pouch behind that. And in there, I've got some, some first aid gear. Grab handles or pull handles on each side. Heavy duty Cordura material. I think this is 1000D. Big beefy YKK zippers. Look at those things, huge. Now watch what happens when I open this pouch up. Look at all that organization inside. He has sewn webbing on this side and on this side so you can organize all the small little things that you carry. I've got a complete survival kit in this in this pack and I've got room for more. I'm not even full. And this would be great for of course putting in your BDU pocket, taking it with you when you're away from your camp. Let's see what I've got in here. Got some stormproof matches, water purification tablets, some live fire. Here's some Vaseline soaked cotton balls, some braided steel wire. Then on this side, I've got a ferro rod, a lighter, a whistle, some jute twine. Over here, of course, you can see the Made in USA label, which is awesome. Got a razor, compass, and some flagging tape. It's also an elastic band down at the bottom of the pack. You can see that right there. See that? I don't have anything in there. I could put that live fire in there if I wanted to. Might be a good spot for it that like it helps keep that stationary and this outside pouch or pocket open that up and I've got a little ferro lens some whirl bags to collect water. Small fishing and sewing kit. So tons of stuff in this pouch. And it's very small and lightweight. Keeps everything really nice and organized. I mean, you can't beat it. I love it. Always looking for a pouch that's going to help me keep my gear organized. 
All right, very similar build and setup as to the small pouch is, is in the same setup as the big pouch. But the not noticeable difference with the big pouch is, is the back has three of these slots. And then here I've got a Streamlight flashlight. Oh my got my uh, SE Kandiro knife. And there I've got a uh, Victorinox. I think that's the hiker or the climber. I'm not sure which model. And of course another slip pocket in the back. Small diamond sharpener. The back also has these attachment points and I think these would be really nice to put a shoulder strap on so you can carry this like a small like small man bag or maybe even attach it to your sternum strap or your larger backpack. See that? You could clip that in on each shoulder strap of your backpack and then this can hang in the front. Plus it has a really nice large grab handle. So if it's in a bigger bag like your backpack, you're going to be able to grab it, find it easily. But this thing just has tons of organization, just like the small pouch, but in just a bigger package. There it is. Here I've got a basic survival fishing kit in a tin. Got my ferro rod. Magnifying lens, flagging tape, good whistle. Also have a D ring in back here. Once again, made in USA. Got my uh, spool of bank line. I got this from Possum Gear and Sagewood Gear. Check them out. Reflective armband for night walk walking. Some uh, Instafire fire cubes. Full hank of paracord. Then on this side, instead of elastic, there's another zippered pouch. And in here, I just got a ton of stuff. I've got matches duct tape, water purification tablets, tinder quicks, some micro uh, trip line, snare wire, neat little uh, strobe light that you can attach to your gear. So, lots of possibilities for organizing gear in there. And of course the outside pocket. Once again, big. Lots of stuff in here. Got my signal panel. I've done a video on signal panels. I'll link that on the back of this uh, video. I got a uh, notebook. Grid readers. Pencil. some survival cards and a signal mirror and that all fits inside here plus there's a velcro panel that he put on the front for me put a patch on there I added this reflective piece of material to the zipper so a lot of possibilities for organizing your gear. What I like about these pouches is that they have such a high level of organization, such a small package, that if I'm trying to organize a big pack, um, let's say like a yeah, two to three day pack where I have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of stuff pouches with my, all my gear, I'm always going to have these little things that I want to take with me. 
the little things are the things that get lost. They always go to the bottom of the pack. They're usually thrown in some type of stuff bag, and they're just they're not organized at all. They're just kind of rolling around uh, in a mishmash together, and it really makes for you know poor organization of your gear, and it's hard to find stuff. So these pouches are going to solve that problem. I'll be able to take that large one, stick that in that in my larger backpack, and now I have all the fire starting and survival gear that I need. So um, if I want to walk away from camp for for the day. I can throw that in my haversack, um, have all my little things organized, and and uh, be able to find what I need. It's just it's it's awesome, definitely a game changer. And then the smaller pouch, I think, is really geared towards putting that in your BDU pocket. So maybe that's even the better way to go for walking away from camp. Stick that in your BDU pocket. You're not gonna you're gonna forget about it, but you're gonna have it with you, and you're gonna have all those little items that you need in case something happens. Now. I have survival gear in these two pouches. That's how I loaded them up for my for my needs. I see some endless possibilities with this. This is EDC gear. This is first aid. Uh, this is bushcraft. A fire starting kit. Get home bags. I mean, anything that you can think of of organizing small little pieces of equipment. This these bags are going to be for you. Now, are they cheap? No, they're not cheap. Uh, they're made in the USA. Um, I think he told me that the large pouch takes him over six hours to make one and three hours to make the small. So that's, you know, that's, you got to factor in his time and the materials are definitely not cheap materials. So you're definitely getting a good product, um, made in the USA from a small, uh, small business. And I think that's awesome. I will provide links down below for his Instagram account and for his Etsy account. Etsy is where you can order these. Um, uh, like I said, I think they're going to be great organizers for your gear. I'm loving mine. I'm definitely uh, figuring out ways to use mine. And uh, I think they're going to definitely help me get better organized when I'm out and about. So I hope you found this video useful. Um, as always, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget that there will be links down below for my Instagram account. Please check that out if you want to see more photos of what I'm doing. Also, there is a Facebook group that I monitor and manage. And uh, we have well over 300 members in it right now. It's growing very strong. So please check that out if you want to interact with other bushcrafters, survivalists, people who are in the outdoors. Uh, I always have extra photos from my outings so there's extra content on there and it's just a great way to to see what other people are doing there's a lot of activity on the facebook group so a lot of fun um all right we will see you next time on the prepared wanderer thanks for watching